Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Seb Teaches You Guitar featuring your host Sebastian Fuga. that's me. Alright, anyway, we're getting into a tutorial on how to play Misguided Ghost by Paramore arranged for one guitar. I remember seeing a tutorial myself on how to play this intro that I'm about to show you and then I developed the rest myself because I really wanted to play the song and that's all I found on it. Um, originally for two guitars we're going to play with just one guitar because I'm not Lucas Streak Agnoli and this is pretty doable on one guitar anyway. It's very doable. Okay, so let's get into it. The left hand comes first, because ladies first, so let's mess with this left hand. You're going to thumb the first fret on this F on the low E string. That's kind of weird, but it's going to happen here, and it's going to be beautiful. So if you are not great at that, just practice it, and it will come to you. Keep on rolling. Next, we're going to place... Our ring finger on the third fret of the D string that's also an F notice we've got octaves here um next we're gonna put our middle finger here on the second fret of the G string that's an A right there and there you have it that's an F flat five we have. And um, for the while we're playing this chord, it's pretty much, uh, yeah. That's what the first measure is gonna sound like. So let's get now into this beautiful hand. Let's see if this works. Oh, wow, that was simple enough. Nice. Okay, so in this section, we're going to assign fingers to each string that we pluck. In this case, it's going to look like this. Um, you're, throughout the entire intro and verse, actually, you're going to notice that your thumb is continually going to be hopping from the low E string to the A string and back like this. So on the first measure, that's going to sound. And um, that may be a good thing to practice before you add the other fingers in. Um, you're going to assign your pointer finger next. We're going to assign it to the D string, and that's going to be all throughout um the f chord that we're going to play here this um well a flat five slash f major seven slash f flat five add nine because of all the cool gizmo stuff that goes on um your middle finger is going to be stuck to the b string for a little bit here and of course we then have our ring finger the last guy on the high e string now it's time to pluck. Let's do it. On the first beat, you're going to use your thumb to pluck the low E string at the same time as your middle finger plucks the B string. You should have that sound. First fret, open B. First fret on the low E, open B. And you are immediately going to use your pointer on your left hand um, to hammer on to the first fret. So it should sound like this. That's beats one and the end of one. One, end of one. One, end of one. Okay, wonderful. Um, we're going to keep that hammer on finger there. So it's going to stay on that first fret. You'll see how that comes in handy later. Um, on the two, we're plucking the D string with the thumb. And note again that your thumb is going to alternate between the low E string on beats one and three and the D string on beats two and four throughout the intro and verse. 
notice that we got one, two, three, four, low E, D, low E, D, low E, D, for a large part of the section. Um, I might want to call this some Travis picking here, and that's a big component of Travis picking where you syncopate um, your kind of melody strings and you keep a steady bass line going. Okay. Um, on the end of two, we're going to use our middle finger. Wait, am I lying? No, use your pointer. No, yes, of course. On the two, we're plucking the D string with our thumb. Yes, we've been over that. On the end of two, you're going to use your middle finger to pluck the high E string. Yeah, that's what I thought. I made a, I made a mistake there. You're going to use your... Um, ring finger to do that. Did I call the ring finger um, the pinky earlier? Did I do that? Yeah, ring finger on the high E string. Okay. So, let's move on. We're now going to have your ring finger plucking the E string. The high E, that would happen on the end of two. So we have... We're going to have our thumb plucking the low E string. So we have one, two, three. Um, on the end of three, you go back to your middle finger on the B string. So that's going to sound like this. End of three. And we're going to land on the four with, of course, our thumb on the D string. So that's the first measure. Nice job, guys. Nice job, Sebastian. Um, a few mess ups on my part, but that's okay. Okay, moving on. We have now got the second measure. Let's have fun with the second measure. So let's begin with our thumb. Um... Your thumb is going to play the exact same part. You're going to use it on the one to pluck the low E string. I'm being silly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so silly pants me. I'm back to continue this episode of Sub Teaches You Guitar. Today we are learning Misguided Ghost. This is the second measure now. <clears throat> okay, second measure time. So your thumb is doing the exact same thing when you're fretting. You're going to have it on the first fret and your thumb ring finger is still fretted here on the um, third fret. So we still have that pattern going. Um, so you're going to do a similar motion, but this time in the first and end of one beats, 
you're actually going to pull off from the first fret C string you're on, uh, from the first fret B string you're on, which is a C incidentally. So the beginning will go. Pull off right there. Um, cool. Next is our thumb coming up doing its um its Travis picking thing. So we got and oh okay we should switch looking at which hand we're looking at. Cool. Oop, not working out. Working out. Cool. So on this hand we're gonna go Incidentally, they're also the third and fourth measures. So we've just skipped from the second measure to straight the fourth measure. We have pull off. That's the third fret with your pinky over here, by the way. Let's just take a quick look. You see that right there? Third fret. After the pull off, you want to put that on there. I like to fret it um, just before striking it because that way um, I can let the other note ring, the open E that's ringing. So after the pull off we have the thumb and the third fret pinky on the high E. Then back to the low E. Yeah, before the last hit of the thumb, so this would be on the end of three. We have an open B, which gives us the pattern. And then you can stick that together and loop it for a while and you get all right enough um what is that my right hand enough right hand action back to the uh, what's this one the left hand so this is what that section looks like on this hand to the fifth measure I believe it is going to be let's double check over here on this wonderful program called notion 6 Yeah, on the fifth measure comes a G shape. We're gonna mess with it like this. Forget your pinky here, drop the pinky, do your G this way with your ring finger on the third fret of the low E string and your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. But this one is just for style because you're actually not, not, not using it here. So that part is going to go like this. Once we add it together, we have So 
on that hand, the pattern is pretty easy. Let's move back to the right hand, ladies and gentlemen. The right hand. Oh, the roll. The steady. Nice. Okay, your other hand is going to go like this. have those assigned fingers that's how you remember which ones to use your pointer is on the G string your middle finger is on the B string and your ring finger is on the high E string so we get to be on the B string and it's the same hammer on to a C from the open B therefore on the first fret and then we're gonna move to an E minor shape I'm not even gonna show you that I'm just gonna show you the chord diagram because E minor you know that one um, I'll describe it though we put our oh man I'm being mean I'm being mean no, if you're learning this, you already know how to play an E minor. Jeez, silly Sebastian. Okay, so we've got an E minor. So we come in from. Oh, not a good angle, Sebastian. You're being silly. You're being silly. Oh, you're showing the wrong hand, Sebastian. You're being so silly. Here we go. All right, and we get. Sorry, this is the E minor part, so it goes... This time you're also going to use the 3rd fret on that B string, and it's going to go... go back to that F flat 5 major 7 all that gizunky good stuff okay um so what I'm showing you on this hand now we have that G that we come in from whoops it goes like this to the E minor, same pattern, but this time, up 3rd fret, back to 0, I mean sorry, back to 1, and there you go, that's measures 4 and 5 for you, if not more, no, I think it's just 4 and 5. No, it's four, five, six, seven. Beautiful, beautiful. And so once you've got all of that down, um, it goes on and the verse starts at measure 17. And the cool thing about that is that the verse is the same as the intro. So really, you know the song now. Wow, up until the pre-chorus, which comes in at 40 seconds. Wow, you know it up to 40 seconds now. That's awesome. Cool, so practice that 
and then um, keep rolling. It's good stuff. Yeah, up until the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus is pretty cool. But I haven't scripted it yet, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So we'll get back to it later. Here we go. Here we go. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. 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 Jeez.